Hey everybody, welcome back to the Warhorse Gaming Channel. I hope everyone out there is doing well and keeping safe and healthy. Now so far in our specialization role series, we've done a brief overview of all the current roles in Red Dead Online. We've covered how to start and play the trader role and showed how to efficiently sell and deliver your goods for the most profit. So now in today's video, we're now going to focus on the newest of all the specialization roles, which is the Moonshiner role. So what is the Moonshiner role and how do I get started? In the Moonshiner role, you're basically going to start and run an underground liquor business where you distill, market, and sell different flavored and different strength moonshines for profit. So to get started in this role, the first thing you'll need to do is open your satchel and look for a letter from Crips called the Business Opportunities Letter. As you read this letter, you'll find out about an old acquaintance and an admirer of Crips, which is hard to believe, named Maggie Fike, who used to be the biggest moonshine operator west of Chicago. Now the letter goes on to say that Maggie's been out of business for a year or two, but is ready to start things back up and is looking for a partner. Cripps thinks you'd be perfect for the job, of course, and he goes on to tell you that he's willing to put in a good word for you with Maggie and ask you to head over to an old abandoned saloon in Emerald Ranch to have a meeting with her. After heading over to the old saloon and walking in, you'll watch a cutscene where Maggie and Cripps talk about setting up the business and where Maggie will give you a map and ask you to pick a location for your moonshine shack. This shack will cost you 25 gold. So let's talk a little bit more about that shack for a second. One important thing to pay attention to when picking a location for your shack is just how close the shack is to fast travels and post offices. The reason this is important is because as you learn to craft different moonshine recipes, you're going to need several different kinds of fruits and herbs. Many of these things can be ordered from your catalog or purchased from Madame Nazar. So having a post office and a fast travel close by will save you tons of time and effort if you can just pick them up after a quick order from your catalog, or if you can travel to an area close where you can gather the plants you'll need. Having to ride all over the place to get everything takes a lot of time and seriously messes with how efficiently you can make and deliver moonshine loads. So be smart about your location pick and you'll be very glad you did. Now you'll see from the video clip that I picked the Moonshine Shack in New Hanover in the Heartlands. Emerald Station is super close which gives me a fast travel and a post office, a short ride away which definitely comes in handy. And here's just how short the ride is from the station to my Moonshine Shack. Now once you arrive at your new moonshine check, it's time for another chat with Maggie Fike. Now during this chat, you'll have a choice to do a couple of things. One is to rescue the shine cook, and the other is to go and get equipment you'll need to get your still up and running. Now what you want to do first is go rescue the former French chef for Jessica Leclerc named Marcel first. You can't do much without him, so he's a top priority. Now he's been taken by a rival moonshiner outfit, and it's up to you to take care of the problem by relieving them of their unwilling distiller and eliminate some of the competition in the process. In this next video clip, me and my buddy Moon Elf go rescue Marcel and take care of business. Let's see some of that muscle Crips promise me. All right, then. Well, uh, you want me to take my shirt off, or what are you what are we talking about? <laughs> I think she's got the eye for you. She's only got one. So. Which, which eye? <laughs> <laughs> Not that messed up one. <laughs> Uh, she's got the stink eye for you, man. <laughs> oh man! Hey, if you get on the right side, you know she won't. She won't care what she's looking at. <laughs> Talk about your woman like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go to the go back to the camp. All right. Um, I don't know what we're going into. Mark Purcell. All right. Let me check my. Oh great! Is that what we're going into up there? Uh, I hope not. Let's see. Probably. Let's see, let's see if I got. All right, got my navies. So far, I'm okay. Alright, you ready to roll? 
Are we trying to go in silent here? What you want to do? No, I don't know yet. I don't know how, if that's exactly where we're going. I, wonder, I hope not. Might, might be just going to a regular camp. No, it's over there. See the black uh, smokestack over there? Yeah, I see that. Probably where we're going right there. If I could get up with you, that would be a good help. Oh, all right. Yeah, it's right over there. Let's see. All right, we still got a ways yet, so let's get up here a little closer. Yeah, let's try to get in the... Let's try to go in stealthy-like. Right. Oh, what's that behind me? A snake? Probably a snake behind. Yep, we'll get bit. All right, put my gun... Why is that? I pulled out everything except for what I want. All right. Oh, we got this guy right here. He's about, he's about to get... What do you see? He's straight ahead. There's a dude right there. He's about to get... Oh, I see. He's him. about to... Yeah, he's about to get gone. There's another one sitting over here in the camp. There's a big rock right there. You want to try to hit that big rock? See it? Huh? There's a big rock right in front of us. You see it? Yeah, yeah, I do. So we can, so we, right, we, we got two guys here. Which one you want? Ooh, there's one guy right in front. There's, there's three of them sitting in the back. Watch this guy right here. Don't let him see us. Oh, we can take him out without, without him or anybody knowing it. Oh, he's on like the crap. Oh, you got him. Yep. Hold on, Zach. Go one back here with Frenchie. Hang on. Yo, Frenchie. All right, Frenchie. You Cut me free. Beat, beat, beat. Cut, no, come over and cut him free. I don't, want, I don't want to take the thunder, man. Go ahead. Come on, Frenchie. Who sent you? It you was, was that you. Baker, huh? I knew it. Let's go. I could have turned around and watched a bit what you're talking to him. Alright. That's your horse? Yeah. Just gonna loot a couple of these guys. We're all right here together. Mm -hmm. Je parle le français. Do you know what that means? Probably doesn't. No. <laughs> let's go. All right, let's go. Come on, dude. Where's my horse? Right behind you. Here she is. Jump on your horse and he'll jump on the back, I think. He'll follow you around. Yeah, he'll come over to you now. Come on, buddy. on the back. Let's do this. All right. You know how to shoot a gun there, Frenchie? Probably not. He's a moonshiner. He's going to make some mash. It wasn't too bad. There might be a few guys in the front, but we're pretty close. Any friends up here? Yep. How about that? How about that? We got one over here. Oh, you want to say hi, huh? How about that? That was nice. Huh? He shot his horse, Take too. I welcome it. This is what we did time. There's somebody right here in front of us. And I knew that if someone came, we would What is this? It's in the water. Is it red on the water? You know that well. I don't see any red. Oh, it's just a deer. Behind you, behind you. I gotta go. A friend of ours. Both of them done for. Alright. Good job, man. Get back up with you. Clean them out, son. Uh -huh. Taking all my thunder, man. Where you at? Right <laughs> no. here. Okay. I feel like I'm. This is farther than uh, the way we went the first time. I think it is. You're taking us the long route. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! We got a bunch of guys here. Okay. We'll come back. Hey, holding up there, you all right? So far, so good. Oh, they didn't see you coming. Oh, oh nice. A little, little, little gift for them there. A little surprise, yeah, they tried to block us. There's this random, what is this over here, something, something over here. What is here. that bear, what is that bear paw? It's a dog or something, something right here. A random animal. Oh. Yeah, it's okay. What is that, it's, what is it's that? It's a mean? random mission. Oh, okay, we don't have time for that. Uh, where you at? Where you going, man? Following the yellow sign, the yellow road. Completely different direction, hang on. 
Oh, it's okay. Wait up for me a second. Why is it taking me a different direction? Are you way up there. You catch up. Why nobody will see you in your starring role? <laughs> oh, that's alright. Okay, I'm up with you guys. You with me? Alright, buddy. Let's go up this way. Yeah, I guess it just took us a different way. Frenchie, we're gonna make a lot of money together. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He's like that Looney Tunes cartoon guy, uh -huh. the, the Pepe Le Pew. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Memories yeah. here. Memories here, yeah, yeah. Now, where is Madame Fiker? She's we inside there. Like, what is my guy running up to? What is this going on here? <laughs> I guess it's like I'm running opposite direction for some reason. Oh, here she is. Ah! Oh. I am happy to say we are officially in business. Hey, hey, hey. I will show you the okay. Asian room. <laughs> Thank you for your interventions the other day. I was turning into a rather unpleasant experience. <laughs> so here we are. Nice and private. <laughs> for obvious reasons, huh? There she is, uh, <laughs> our still a beauty, huh? Since I've been told that you are new in the business, I was thinking you might need some friendly mentorship. Illicit distillation <laughs> is a very unique pursuit. <clears throat> ah, but what is most ah. important are the ingredients <laughs> for the mash. The more successful the business is, the better the price we can negotiate for those ingredients. Just as we will, the more unsuccessful our competitors are. But that side of things is more the area of expertise of Madame Fike. Anyway, some of our buyers are very exacting when it comes to tastes and flavors. So we will need to adjust our recipes Taste to the demand over time. Attention! A stronger alcohol sells for more. Uh, look, as putting you a cap on. Huh? Is that a cap? But it also takes longer to produce. So that is, is that that something else we will yeah, need to uh, balance. Huh? Well, balance, that's huh? Let's get to work. I have a feeling you are going to learn fast. Well, that's going to do it for us today. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and look for part two where we'll cover getting the equipment to get started and the actual process of making the moonshine. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and be sure to click that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. Take care and we'll see you in the next one.